Hi everyone. I'm mainly filming my newly organized artist studio kitchen everything space for my husband so he can see what a good job I did. So here is my front window. I live in a row home. I live in Philadelphia. I dye yarn and now I'm going to venture into acrylic pouring. So here is my well, my containers. I bought these nice basket weave containers at Target. I think I bought about 20 different sizes and the mesh ones also. Um, I have a TV there that I never use but I'm keeping it just because it's so cute and it does have a VCR player. So this is my front window. I'm coming over here. I just bought this shelf. I'm going to go up it's very close to the top of my ceiling but it fit under I can't believe I put this together myself um, it was really heavy so the top shelf has baskets the I'm gonna go over to this tray I'll bring that down another day it has all this wood from my dad's house from an old tree stump we put some more light this shelf um, this shoe box there, I have some boric acid with some flowers drying. I have a basket here, resin things, and then we'll come. I'll show you my table now. This is my kitchen table. So it does have the knitting machine that I have to clean. It's old, and I'm not sure if it even works, but I think it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So um, I have a little shelf it's a corner shelf and that I'm just going to keep to well I'm going to use this for the day when I'm doing acrylic pouring and you can see I have all the paints set up I haven't mixed them and that will be another video there are the colors that my husband chose in the previous video there's a cute little turntable that does swivel and I'm going to use that to put things. I mean there's so many supplies when you have a hobby. And here's my Lazy Susans getting ready for the video on hacking the mixing spoons. Over here I have a little kitchen cart and this is mainly for my kitchen items. I have some coffee, um, I have colander, some kitchen tools. Over here, I it's just a chair. I have one chair. I have some mats for blocking my knits. Now the chair is really good because look underneath fits another basket. The nice basket that has paints in it and it fits under there. So you can use the space under your chair to store things. And I have this little it's like a pocket. I don't even know what to call it. It fits on the back of a chair and I have some things in there. Um, here's my sink. I got to do the dishes. Sorry. You can see all this, but this is the way it is when you have a hobby. Right, guys? I'm sure you understand. So over there I have my recycling. But let me just get to the shelf a little bit. I have my tripod. And on this shelf I have things and then there's like a lower shelf it's all very organized here's my knitting machine I'm gonna move the knitting machine to another room but for right now this took me about three days now in the my dining room is just filled with containers I mean I might have five containers filled with craft supplies and more things for acrylic pouring like stickers and I don't know all kinds of things I just you know pouring tools and things I want to try so but I am happy with how organized it is I mean it looks like a studio right it's not better homes and garden I tell my kids don't mind me because the kitchen is where I like to be because the Sun comes in here in the afternoon and it's not a great view, but you know what? I live in the city. I am near so many dollar stores and supermarkets, and it's so much fun, and of course, thrift stores. So the shelf is wonderful. 
and I am really going to enjoy this and I'm going to bring this in and show you this is my Lazy Susan that I bought at I think I bought it at Marshall's which is another store that's very close to me so I will be making some videos for you and don't mind the pack of cigarettes yes I know I shouldn't but I believe it or not I have to confess I did start smoking but I only smoke one or two a day and I don't inhale but I for some reason I like the smell of tobacco and I like the taste of it but another thing I do is all my essential oils that I use um, apply topically so thanks for watching it's been great I hope you'll stop back again I really love you guys for you know helping support me and I hope that I can make some really good videos that you'll be able to learn something because I'm learning too thanks a lot have a great day bye bye